How to protect your assets during a divorce. Here are nine things to consider. You know, divorces can be financially complex and expensive, and it's understandable that clients want to protect their assets that they've worked so hard to accumulate. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has helped people get through divorce in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And here are nine things for you to consider in protecting your assets. Number one, understand the difference between separate and community property and how to prove your separate property. Remember, separate property is the things that you owned before divorce. So find a title or proof that you owned it before divorce. Secondly, there are things that you accumulate by inheritance at any time or a gift at any time. But proving that it was a gift can be tricky. And in an inheritance, you may need testimony from an executor, a copy of a will. You may need to to show a chain of title of how the property came from the executor to you and where you put it and how you kept it separate and didn't mix it up with the community property. And then there is anything that you have kept separate may have to be shown with the evidence of a CPA going through to separate out the income from that property because income from separate property is community property. So you have to separate the two. And remember the burden of proof is on you to prove that it's not community. Otherwise, they will presume that everything is community property. So document what is your separate property and get the proof that it is separate. Second, understand that your credit report is important for you to monitor closely because you need to know what your spouse is doing behind your back regarding any debts. Separation of debts is just as important as separation of assets. Consider opening separate bank accounts and separate credit card accounts to make sure that your spouse doesn't have the ability to go wipe out your bank account without your permission. Fourth, be mindful of the tax consequences of any property division. So you want, before you sign any settlement agreement, to take that proposed division of property to a CPA and a tax expert and advisor and ask Ask them, what are the tax consequences of this property division? And is there other property that would have better tax consequences for me? Avoid making large purchases or sales while the divorce is pending or just before you file. Those things will make you look bad before the judge and further complicate the division. Because remember, you're not divorced until the judge signs that final order of divorce. Even though you're separated, even though you filed a petition, you are still married married and anything you acquire is community property. So now is not the time to buy a new house or a new car. It's also not the time to pay off a lot of debts because the division of debts might be helpful in the division of property for you. And if you pay off those debts, you won't get credit for the fact that you paid them off. The judge is only going to look at what is available at the time of divorce to divide, not what you paid off six months ago. Number six, if you own a business, take steps to protect it. And that may include getting a business valuation, making sure your personal and your business finances are separate, and maybe doing some kind of records audit. Make sure that you have the proof that you need to prove whether that business is separate or community and how much that business is actually worth. Next, get some estate planning documents in order. Your original estate planning probably left everything to your spouse. You may want to change that now. It is important to review and change your estate planning documents as soon as possible. Number eight, do not hide assets. That is only to bite you. It is something that makes you look really bad in front of a judge and it causes the other side to send all kind of discovery requests. They'll end up spending a whole lot more money on attorney's fees and producing documents. And once they discover that you've hidden some Something, they're going to be convinced that you're hiding more things and it's going to really prolong the divorce process and make it more expensive if you are not upfront with what you own at the beginning. And number nine, work with an experienced attorney. Make sure that you have an attorney, a CPA, a financial advisor to all advise you, but find an attorney who is experienced in divorce law like my firm. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please like, share, comment, 
comment and subscribe.